Cool. Hey everyone, it's me, Jeremy, showing you this. All right, so as uh, so we went over in a couple of last things, we have our usage bar. I'll show you the updated version when we round the corners off a little more pill shape, a little more you, because I wanted to draw a difference between the usage bar and these. And right now they're the similar, they're the similar um, weight here uh, around the corners. So I wanted to sharpen those a little bit. But when you click in like LinkedIn, because we can automate LinkedIn stuff, check that out. We added a delete automation and a task history, okay? So you can essentially show task history and that's really cool. But initially, this is a funny thing that I, I, I was thinking about. The delete automation is really close to the task history, okay? And I was like, oh, I like the way it looks, but like, what if you fat finger this or just click on the wrong thing? You can tell, oh, if you get the right thing, it shows your task history, right? Boom, failed step, failed step, uh, which is really kind of cool really have our design language down. But delete automation, it can't just delete, right? Or double opt into delete. What is happening out there? Someone's making ice. So we made a sanity check. So if delete automation, you gotta slide the bar, although not, you can't slide it there. So like it takes that cognizant effort to actually slide this over before you can actually delete it, right? So you can just cancel. Then you hit delete. So it's not, you can just click out of it as well. So we wanted to make that sanity check. Um, let me know what you think about that because I like the way it looks close together, but I was like, oh, you need to make delete. De but if it shows the steps, right? Okay, so LinkedIn and you're like, all right, so it shows task history there and then you collapse steps and then it shows delete automation. Let me know your thoughts. As I build day by day.